So, <clears throat> that's kind of where I am today, just so you guys know that, you know, I'm just not on these internet marketers just making stuff up, you know, or anything else. I've done it, I've been there, I'm still doing it. I've got all the t-shirts, uh, and I've still got a long way to go myself as well. So, with that said, guys, I'm going to pass you over to uh, Liam Thompson in just a second. We're going to kick off with some advertising, Facebook, uh, and some other things Liam is going to talk about. So I want to want to kind of deliver this um, a bit of a progressive structure of your day. Liam will talk about lead generation with Facebook, which is the most powerful way to do it to this day. And maybe Liam will go into a bit of sales and follow up as well. Maybe I'm not sure, but wherever Liam leaves off, then I'm going to come back in later and talk about the next step for you guys. So you'll kind of see sequentially. Okay, I'm generating leads, doing what Liam's shown me, making some sales. And then I can come in and start talking about what you need to focus on next when you get to that point. Some of you will be at that point right now, and some of you will be getting there, but take notes anyway, so it'll become relevant at some point. And then we can do some Q&A later as well and go into some specifics. Sound good? All right, guys, okay, so uh, I wanna welcome uh, Liam, a uh, good friend of mine, we go, we go back a long time. He's one of the only few people I trust to, to teach and deliver at our events. Um, so I know he knows the stuff and helps fit pros um, all over the UK and probably around the world as well. Yeah. Clients abroad, yeah. With you know all things from online marketing, lead generation, Facebook ads, uh, just helping you get a pipeline, a consistent, predictable flow of leads through your door. Would that sound good? Yeah. Everyone like that? Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'll leave it to Liam. Take it away. And uh, uh -huh. thanks. Hey guys, how you doing? So I just want to get a bit of feel for who's in the room. So who here has got studio? Who's put hands up? We got studio. Who just does work? One PT. Anyone else? Community. Okay. Cool. So is it is everybody currently running running ads at the minute? Running Facebook ads? Just stick your hand up if you're running Facebook ads. Keep your hand up if you've got a website. Cool, cool, cool. One of the things that we're finding at the minute is that. In terms of trust, Facebook ads are starting to drop, but that doesn't mean that they're still not working. What we find is, is that when we run ads for clients, we get an additional 25% of leads will actually stop, come off of Facebook, and they'll go and search Google for your business. So we're finding across the board that 25% extra will come through your website. So if you haven't got a website that has the same message as your Facebook ads, you're missing out. And this is, this is really the key, congruence in all your marketing. So marketing for me is, is, really, is really simple. It's about just getting your message out there. Now, Justin was talking earlier about, uh, about all the internet marketers. I've, I've been on that journey. So I've, uh, I've had my own personal training business, a boot camp business here in Manchester, and I did everything. I did the copywriting, I did the website design, I learned to do Facebook ads, I did all of it. And it literally, it's, 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 not, it's not the path that you want to go on if you want to have a profitable business. And this is, this is why guys like me exist, to, to do this sort of stuff for you. So, I'm gonna just ask a couple of questions. I want this to be a little bit interactive. Can I get an idea of what you guys think is the most important number in your business? Just, just anybody. In terms of marketing, is it lead cost? I'd say um, cost per client when you actually sign them up. Okay, cost per client when you sign them up. Okay, so what do you think that fits in with? What I'm trying to get, right? I'll basically be honest, right? Who knows what their client lifetime value is? Anyone else? Okay, if you don't know what your client lifetime value is, then how do you know if you're being profitable when you run ads? Does that make sense? Okay, so basically, I want to get my laptop up. I'm going to take you guys through a really, really, really simple funnel. If that's okay, okay. I'm get phone go, hey, it's Joe from Joe's, Joe's Gym. We'd like to say thanks for filling in the form today. Just going to show you around the gym. This is this is the toilets. This is a shower. This is this is Joe, your trainer. He's going to be seeing you today. And just make it really personal. It's just trying to humanise what is essentially quite a cold interaction from Facebook ads. And then, if they don't reply to that, they go into the email sequence. And if they do reply to that, they get the phone call, book them in for their consultation, or whatever your low barrier is, or whatever the offer is. So this will fit in with what this is. And then a couple of things that you just want to put in place is just a text message reminder before they come in, you do your consultation, and then that's when you guys take over and do what you do, which is welcome them, give them a consultation, 
find out what the problems are, serve them, and then sell them onto your packages, whatever that is. Okay, any, any questions about that? Can I just ask about the uh, video? Yeah. Uh, how you're delivering that, is that, you send that via text? So, uh, text? so WhatsApp, basically. <laughs> Is that like a pre-made video you're just going to do on no, the spot? No, you just get your phone and you go, right. here you go. Yeah, yeah. Just, just make it really personal. Yeah. So, Justin sent me a list of questions earlier about how to make sure that the leads are a bit are better quality. So, essentially when you run an ad like this, what you're getting is you, you're interrupting people. So, you think about why, why people use Facebook. They're just looking, looking to see what their friends are up to. They're looking at cat videos. They're basically, they're just browsing, they're wasting time and you're interrupting their day. So this is one of the reasons why it can be hard to convert. And people complain about the lead quality, but the, the, this, this is really just starting a relationship. Marketing for me is about building a relationship and this is, this is just the first step. The first step is to get them, get them into the know, like and trust phase. And then what we have with the text messages, the phone calls, the videos, and then the email sequence, that's just that's just to add trust, and it's also to add follow up. So, I mean, how, how many? What was that? How many times do you have to follow up to get a client normally? I mean, ninety percent of sales happen after five follow ups. Yeah. Yeah, ninety percent of sales people only follow up twice. Um, but one thing you know we like to remind remind you guys is not to look at this like a seven day funnel, but look at a ninety day funnel, because like like I said, yeah, you know. With interruption, we can still get clients, and if you've got a good LTV, lifetime client value. That's what we can, we can't lose with this because the relative cheap price of advertising, which is just proportionately underpriced, what we're paying for it. You guys try running Google Ads ten years ago and and you know tell them about, you know four or five dollar clicks, right? This is this is heaven compared to that. And the difference is, guys, remember that for what we're getting, we are interrupting, like Liam said. But we are going to still be able to convert enough of those leads within the first seven days to, with our high levels of lifetime client values. Most industries can't do this. E-commerce can't do this as well because they have such low margins. Because you know, they, they buy a product for £19 and sell it for £22. You're selling £100, £200, £300 a month program. Your LTV should far outweigh um, anything you can afford to pay to, to buy a lead, right? Um, you can afford a lot more than you think you can to buy a customer. But the key thing to remember is, guys, again, yeah, like I said, this is just starting a relationship. And if you went out there and just approached the first 20 people in the street and asked them to marry you, or even on a date with you, a lot of them would say no too, right? I imagine. You know, you're all lovely people, I'm sure. But hypothetically, right, if you went and did that. And, but you would then say, those are low quality people. Fuck those guys, right? <laughs> and don't they know who I am? But that's what we're doing with our funnels, right? So it's good to it's good to catch this the 10, 20, 30 percent that are going to buy straight away because they're in the market and they've seen other people, they've had conversations, they've worked with a bootcamp before, or whatever it might whatever it might be. But remember, guys, that you know what we find is that we track a 90-day cycle on our leads. So we have a long follow-up after this as well, and what we'll find is that nine, you know, um, I think like uh, if someone's been in our funnel for uh, 60 days or more, and then they get on the phone with us, there's a 95% chance they'll buy. So what we look at is if you run, let's say you paid a thousand pounds in ads this month, for July, and you, you, let's say you pay a thousand pounds, you get a thousand leads, let's say, right, for simple math. Uh, and let's say you make 200 sales out of that thousand. Great, fantastic, right? You've liquidated your ad spend, and you're gonna have a good LTV on that. But what about those other 800 people? What you'll find is with a consistent follow-up, Another 300 of those thousand will sign up with you after two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, when September comes round, when January comes round, when they get called fat one morning and don't like it, right? Things that are actually out of your control, external triggers. And so you've got to look at it that, so we look at the leads we're paying for in July, might not, that's giving us our clients for September. So we're actually looking at a 90-day system. It's like the leads we get now are going to convert, not all two days after they come in, but in the, in the weeks and months to come, if you follow up. And when you look at it that way, you'll actually see on a macro trend that you're, what you're investing into Facebook versus what you're getting back is a lot more than you think it is. If you only look at the month-to-month -month limited window, 
I put a thousand in, I only got 200 sales back. So therefore my earning per lead is this. That's wrong. Because you're still converting those leads afterwards. And the longer, broader perspective you can have and track your prospect journey over the long term, you're gonna realize how infinitely more you can afford to spend and therefore you can spend more and outspend your comp competition on Facebook. And whoever can afford the most to acquire the client, client will win the market. Right? So I just want to add that in there as well. So it's, it's very important to see that bigger perspective. Just because they don't sign up straight away, it doesn't mean they're low quality people. Um, but with follow up, you will get a lot more of them. Yeah, it's, cl it's classic top of mind awareness because not, not every single one of these guys will be ready to, to join a gym or ready to get fit or, or they might not just feel that they need to but something in your app piqued their interest and as, as Justin said when they wake up on New Year's Eve and, or New Year's morning and they're, they're setting their goals they're not, they're not going to go to Google and start looking for gyms in their local area they're going to go to the company that's been sending them emails that's been phoning them that's been putting videos online who, who, who basically top top of mind, and that's that's where the power the power in this stuff is. So even if we spent a thousand pounds on ads and we picked up one client in the first month, you're still going to break even because you guys should be what what are you guys charging? What 100, 200 quid a month for your programs? What what you how 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 long do people stay with you guys on average? About eight months at the minute. Eight months. Our average package is one nineteen. So that's you're so. you're making about a grand a client. Okay, implement this system and you pick up clients for about 40 quid, 50 quid. One in, one in four of these leads will easily convert. There's, there's no one or other industry on the planet that will get a return on investment like this. Go ahead. What is it? What's the text message service you use? Uh, it's called Click to Send is and it's, 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 it's I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll run to one. Oh, if you want to increase the uh, the quality of the leads, rather than send them to a, a, a Facebook leads form, send them to a one-page landing page. And again, I'll show you, I'll show you guys this. If you want later, you got it. And this is uh, so this looks different depending on whether it's on a on a laptop or a mobile. If it's a mobile, we'll have a we'll have a button here. And there'll be, no, there'll be zero, the zero images on the mobile, and then it's just a click here to claim. It's called two step opt in. So, anybody read Caldini's book on influence? Years ago. Yeah, years ago. Yeah, great. If you want to learn market, by the way, that's one of the best books to, to buy. Second best book to buy is The Game by Neil Strauss, which is actually about pickup artists. <laughs> uh, that's a two step opt in. So, let's say we had the, the form here they'd be less likely to fill it in. Because they've taken the first step to, to take action on it, they're more likely to fill the form in and you find that the conversion rates are higher. We get about 20% conversion on these pages, which is one of, one of five, which you, you won't get anywhere close to on your website. Uh, we use Zapier to set everything up. Let's show you guys. Anyone use Zapier? Yeah. Cool, yeah, it's, it's absolutely great. So, let's just get it in. So this is one that's coming from a uh, new lead comes in on Facebook. We tell Facebook and Zapier to create a spreadsheet on Google Sheets that adds, adds each lead to a new one. So rather than having to log in and download all the leads, they just go to Google Drive and they can see a spreadsheet with everything. And then that's how they can track them. Then we send them an outbound email, say, you've got a new lead on, get off the arse and go them. Uh, then we add it to Active Campaign, and then there's another step that's not in this one that we, we send them that update a text message. And this just this, this this is just a piece of software. It just talks talks to everything, and it's dead easy to use. And it's about ten dollars a month, and you should definitely be using it. Uh, any questions so far? No, no, no. Do you see that?
So there's three components to an ad on Facebook. There's a campaign, which is where you set, set your targets in terms of whether you're going to have a lead or a conversion. And then you've got ad sets, and that's where you set your audiences and you test different audiences. And then within each ad set, you've got uh, your, your ads themselves. So a uh, question I yeah. have um, after this is, yeah. uh, do, you, do you guys do anything uh, on a local level with like content, like promoting content or anything in and around adverts? Uh, yes, so we'll promote blog posts, we'll promote videos. It's hard to get testimonials from the morning. Well, uh, is that just to build those audience, not to get directly?